Sure. So what does the digital age mean? Well, um, I'm going to give you just a real quick illustration of what it means uh, to digitize something. What you're looking at here is a, is a page out of a child's coloring book, and uh, you can see the numbers in each little section of that outlined flag. And if the child uh, understands one, two, and three in red, white, and blue, uh, they should be able to uh, take a paintbrush or a color crayon and, and uh, paint something that ends up looking like that. Well, the process, when we talk about digital images, the process of creating a digital image is really no more complicated than that. Uh, the child uses their brain to follow the instructions. And when a computer generates a digital image, it simply is following the instructions that are found in the, in the file that contains uh, what I at one time thought was a picture. I, you know, the, the, the most common one that... Uh, uh, you're probably familiar with if you've used digital photos, is a JPEG. Well, um, for a long time, I, I didn't know any better. I thought there was actually a picture in that file. Well, in fact, there's not a picture. Uh, there is simply a, uh, a set of instructions. And uh, uh, there are, there are uh, little sections of, of every digital picture called pixels, which you've probably heard of. And a pixel is just a, an, a, a condensed... Uh, a combination of a picture element. And uh, so if you, if you uh, visualize a digital image, you can see there's a real simple image there, but if you blow it up, you can see all the little squares. Each one of those is a pixel or a picture element. And what the computer does, just like the child reads the instructions, the computer has instructions in code, and the highlighted little square there is one pixel, and the computer simply fills the appropriate color based on the code that it was instructed to uh, fill that little square in with. And so um, what, what, what it, the process is really, really simple. What's amazing is the speed that it takes place. I'm going to advance this uh, to the next slide. And in the, in, the, in the split second that it takes for me to advance it, just like that, boom, there's a, there's a digital image that quickly. And, and that's how fast a processor reads all of those instructions. And if you, that happens to be a picture of me and my two older brothers taken in about 1960 when we were, uh, uh, it looks like we were headed for Sunday school or, or the first day of school, I'm not sure what. But uh, uh, if you zoom into that little manufactured smile I've got on my face there, uh, you can see all the little pixels in that picture. Well, uh, uh, you can't see them when you look at it from a normal distance, but what the, the technology, what's amazing about the technology uh, that I didn't really understand for a long time is that uh, you're seeing this picture. This picture was generated for the first time uh, right here in front of us because all the computer did was follow the instructions inside the JPEG file and displayed it on a screen. And when we talk about permanent permanently preserving our legacy, uh, it, it's the instructions that, that, uh, that remain, not, not the, the picture itself. Uh, this computer and that TV screen are eventually going to either break or wear out or become obsolete. Uh, they are not permanent, but the instructions contained in the file are. And it doesn't matter if that file is opened by a computer in 10 years or 100 years or 500 years from now, it's going to look exactly like it does here today. There will be no degradation of the quality of the image. That's what we talk about when we talk about um, digitizing. And um, 